Okay guys, uh, welcome to this episode of Fishing the Garden State. So I had uh, some of my followers and subscribers that follow me on Instagram and some of the groups ask me to do a video on how to fish a frog. So I got my uh, top order box here in front of me. Also have some other stuff in there, some, some spoons and stuff. Um, and my swim baits, but the frogs, the poppers, and uh, the spooks. So let's um, open this up and uh, we'll take a look. So basically frogs is uh, two types. So we have our live, like this is your live target popping frog. Um, there's some other poppers, you know, the old hula popper, old, old school style. And then you have your hollow body frogs. This one here is a uh, lunker hunt hollow body frog. Um, it's another lunker hunt. They have the legs. Um, don't fish them any different, but you know this this frog here is pretty cool. Uh, the lunker hunts. Um, and then I have a both in a popping style and a regular style. So there's two different types. So obviously you get the hard body poppers. Um, which are these frogs here. And we have our soft body frogs. And again, two styles. You can see I've just fished this one recently. Yeah, I gotta clean it up a little bit. But um, and then you have some other style. This here is a I believe this is a um pad crusher, a boy uh popping pad crusher there. Um a little smaller one, another I think that's a booyah. It might be a spur. I think it's a booyah, though. Um, and then we have a few others. The ones I don't have in this box are the uh, Bassano Bates ones that I have. They look, uh, however, fairly similar to this guy here. A little better quality than this one here. These are um, some Dick's exclusive ones. I think these are, I don't know, something I've picked up that were just in a, inexpensive. A little different colors. I basically got them for the different tail colors. So, you know, the black and green. Um, light blue, sartreuse, and white, and, uh, this guy here is sartreuse and black. So, how it kind of works is, obviously, you got to look for the type of cover you're looking at. When you're fitting, fishing heavily on the grass or the grass mats and the pads, this is one of the best weedless baits ever. Uh, regardless of the style you're using. Um, now what's nice about these lunker hunts is when they go, you get the legs kicking like what the frog has, and then when it sits, the legs kind of dangle. Now, you know, these skirt style legs, they hang and dangle as well, but trimming them. Now right now, all the ones I have that you see in front of you, I have not trimmed any of these yet. But you want to trim it based on the conditions you need because you know, if, if it's the bass is going to hit and it's hitting way back here, it's not getting up to the bait. You, you know, you want to make sure to trim up the profile a little bit, make it a little smaller, make it a little more appetizing, easier meal, you know, sort of deal. Yeah, obviously, if they're, they're really hungry and they're going to pound some of the bigger ones, but, you know, you want to make sure that they're hitting and they're hitting near the hooks. You know, you see these frogs, you know, with the legs, they dangle low, but they're not huge way back here. So you want to make sure you, you kind of condense the package a little bit. You'll notice some better hookups in that regard and a little bit better quality of, of hookups. Um, you know, and the frogs will, will do you well. Um, but how you want to fish these frogs is... Alright, so this is the popping frog. So this one is good on the sides of mats, more open water conditions. It's going to make that commotion. So you toss that frog out there. And it's sitting, you know, so this popper style, and then when you give it a couple twitches, you know, you got your twitch, your twitch, it's bubbling in the water. So, you know, we're going to, eventually I can do one of these videos um, on the water, but right now we'll just do it as far as the, you know, how to do it verbally, and then we can follow it up with a video on the water of how to do it. But you're, you're going to give it a couple twitches with the rods. You know, you don't see a frog just swimming you know, straight in the water like that. So you see the frog, it swims a little bit, it stops, and it just hangs there. And the frogs kind of sit, you know, dangling in the water like this, just the head up, body underneath, and, you know, a couple pops. You know, that's how you want that frog to move is, you know, through the water. A couple twitches, stop. 
couple twitches, stop. Um, and this this mouth, this concave mouth, as you can see, will will create a bubble on the water that drives bass crazy. The commotion, they hear it from a long ways away. It is nothing but an intention grabber. And these frogs here are great coming through cover. Popping style and these hard body poppers. This uh, live target one here. I got another one in here. It's a little bit darker. I got the hula popper. I got some other top water poppers as well. Uh, not necessarily frog appearance. Uh, these ones are. You can see the little legs. And again, this is a, a live target here. But these gigantic pops. You know, this one here, this is great for the edge of the grasses, edge of the pads, edge of the toolies, edge of all the, the types of stuff that you're going to come across while fishing these frogs. Um, but this hard body one's a little bit different. Now, for the top water, you know, you want to throw a line that, that doesn't sink. Obviously, fluorocarbon, it's going to sink. So braid or mono, um, you can even throw a braid with a, you know, mono leader. I've have one rod right now that's set with monofilament. I have another one that's set with 30-pound um, braid. I don't fish anything real, real, real heavy cover, just on the ponds and, you know, in the lakes that, that I fish here in Jersey. We just don't have that heavy, heavy cover. There are some areas, but I can get by. If I lose one and breaks off and some of the heavy stuff or I lose it, it's few and far between. Um, so you want to fish these frogs like that. The difference is just the location to pick between this style, pull this guy back out, and this style. Um, obviously, they're snagged, they're weedless, they go across the grass, they will lay on the grass mat. And you just drag them across on that grass mat, and you'll see the bass come up. The blow-ups on frog fishing are like no other. Um, but the detail is all in the bottom. You know, the bass doesn't see the top of this frog, so this could be, you know, perfectly plain and clear. You don't see it. The details are here, the legs, how it moves, you know, the little legs aside, the bottom profiles they see. That's what they see in the water. And you can see everything has a different profile. Yeah, drop the camera. Awesome. Sorry about that. Everything has a different profile. So you see the bottoms on that. Um, you see most of the, the popular ones, they all have the same bottom profile, just a little bit different. Now, if you watch the Bassano hollow body frog, I have some with some dark bottoms and then a black bottom. Now, Spro makes a great black bottom frog as well. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like that Bassano frog is, is, is awesome. Is those dark color frogs just mimics a little bit different color. Something a little more appetizing. Something they haven't seen. Most of the people that are throwing out there, they're throwing these the, the white bottoms. And that's the majority of what it is. Um... Even on these hard ones, you still see it the same way. It's still that white bottom. Now, this live target here, again, different color bottom, a little different appearance. It's all about changing up, finding out what those bass are pounding on, and then throwing that. And that's going to be the key to, to finding out those answers. But, you know, all these frogs, you know, that's what it's all about is finding the right spot and the right thing that works. You know, the top orders work great, um, you know. But same way you walk a frog, same way you walk a spook. You know, if you're walking that hollow body frog, this type here, the non-popper, you know, it's like tapping a drum. Tap, 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 tap. And you reel it in as you're doing it um, to get that frog going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth as it's coming through. You know, when you get that frog and he's going like this, swimming through the water, it has a real nice appearance. So that's what drives those bass crazy. That's the important part. You want to make sure that you try to mimic it as real to life as possible. So tap, 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 stop. Tap, 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 stop. And you just roll it through that way. And the popper, you want to make a lot of commotion. The other one, he just skims across the surface, just a standard holly This is meant to make commotion because it's coming from outside the pads, outside the grass. You need to draw that attention to get that bass to hunt it down. So that's where these popper styles, same thing with the whole popper, that's a frog appearance. You want to draw attention to it. That's the point. So you make that noise. You make that commotion. So hopefully this video helped you out. We'll do one on the water just to kind of see the motions with the rod and, and how you kind of reel it in as you're popping it. But it's like tapping a drum. So you tap that snare drum on, on slack line and you'll see that frog just walk through the water just like you're doing a spook. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought. Hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, tell me how your frogs are making out. What is your favorite frog? What's your favorite type to throw? Let me know. I'd love to know what everyone else thinks. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.